This is your diamond insight of curbing reckless use of firearms. Owning a firearm in Zambia is not strange, but the misuse is what has become frequent in the recent past, and the sort of gun culture requires the Zambia Police Service to swiftly curtail it. The Firearms Act, Chapter 110 of the Laws of Zambia, is a thorough piece of legislation that guides on the use of a firearm by a license holder. And in particular, sections 13 and subsection 1 reads and we quote, an application for the issue of a firearm license or a duplicate firearm license shall be made to the licensing authority of the area in which the applicant resides, end of quote. Now, with all the do's and don'ts in the law, there has been rampant misuse of firearms, especially in Lusaka, where about a month alone, there have been cases where patrons have discharged firearms at so-called opponents and an example is that an alleged man of Lebanese origin who caused mayhem at a name nightclub recently. Last week, the nation was awash by a report of a man who allegedly shot his friend at a bar after a fight ensued, and as if not enough, there is troubling tragic death of former Zambia Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Ronish Kapwasha who suffered gunshot wounds under unclear circumstances that police will establish. It is worrying that citizens who are supposed to abide by the law for owning a gun are either flouting it or are harmed by a weapon that is supposed to protect them. Inasmuch as the Central Firearms Registry established under the provisions of subsection 1 of section 4 of the Firearms Act chapter 110 of the laws of Zambia, its responsibility for the control of the import, export, movement, storage and possession, sell, manufacturing and repair of firearms and ammunition and other related materials, this mandate allegedly has gaps because of rampant cases of misuse of guns. For instance, the situation in southern province around Gwembe district, where homemade firearms are common, cases of shooting are frequent, hence there is need to bring the gun culture to a stop, just as much as the police interrogate the misuse among urban dwellers in Lusaka and assume brandishing firearms is a sign of affluent status, yet it only undermines public safety and indeed must be condemned. 